Thomas Jefferson, as you can see, is probably the third most decayed president here. If you see that um, he's starting to fall apart pretty bad. And he died, so I've heard, on the same day as John Adams, four hours apart, albeit on July the 4th. On dry days in the summer, often we allow our guests to walk through here, but you can see that this area is um, pretty wet. We've had some significant weather here lately. We've never seen snakes back here, but it, it looks like it's an area that is completely conducive to snakes, so I always make sure that my guests are, are um, mindful of that as they're walking through here. The most decayed president is Woodrow Wilson. He pretty much looks like he has a leprosy. <laughs> and the question always comes up, is there a rhyme or a reason as to why these guys are decaying at a faster rate than the remaining, and I just don't understand or know if there is any reason behind it. Perhaps he's in a wind pattern or a rain pattern that makes him more susceptible to cracking. I just don't know. But what I do know is if you come look pretty closely at this president, who was one of eight Virginia native presidents, born and raised in Stanton, look in his, his right eyeball. But that is a wasp's nest which is not uncommon. Often you'll see them in the nostrils of the sculptures as well. A few of them are starting to miss some parts. Lyndon Johnson is starting to lose the end of his nose. Ronald Reagan was one of them that was struck by lightning a few years back, but he's been success, um, successively cleaned up since. 